Hello, my name's Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today, teaching you how to play I See Red on the bass guitar. The intro starts with pounding out the note F, which is first fret of the top string of your bass, eight times to each bar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is all it takes to play the intro. When the singing starts, the verse has begun, and we have F. flat C and F so we have the B flat on the first fret of your third string one down from the top and C third fret of that third string as well and we're, we're still sticking with that eight tour bar idea but he is leaving some gaps in there usually occurring on beats two and four to allow the drummer's snare sound to crack through. So you can mix it up using gaps or playing straight over with the thumping eights. Baseline where it's more about getting the attitude mixed in with getting the right notes at the right time to uh, pull it off successfully. Pause this video now, just take time understanding what it takes to play the first half of the verse, of, of the chorus, sorry, we'll call it. Um, the second half now. We're moving up to the note D for two bars. So that is fifth fret of your third string, two lots of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F, two lots. Then D, C, B, flat A, D. And that completes the chorus. So what we have here is the D on the fifth fret, the C on the third fret, first fret for B flat, and the open string A, all on the third string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four of each. D, C, B flat, A. And then back to your D. And there you have the chorus. That's the bulk of the song already learnt because during the verses the bass is dropping out. So if I just do a full run through now of the chorus with a slightly slowed down tempo, here it goes. One, two, three, four. Berries walking down the street, past your room. Repeat that. Da, 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 da. I see red, I see red, I see red. Up to the D. F. And then our walk back. D, C, B flat, A, D. And that completes our chorus. Pause this video, put all that together, and we'll talk about all that you need to do to play the verse, a fill you can put into the chorus, and how to finish the song next. So for the verse, we're not playing pretty much the entire time. You can hear a, an interesting little bass sound in the the underneath everything that is played by the keyboard. Um, the bass part kicks back in as we build up into the chorus by playing G on the top string and A to a bar. So it's third fret top string before. You head back in to that chorus again. That's all it takes, just the G build up. You also hear that as the outro to the song as well. The, the G build up is there until the very sudden cutoff. So that essentially gives you a way to play this song start to finish. One little part that I can hear at one time in, in the song that Nigel does is a little fill in the chorus. So we've got the chorus. Red, I see red, I see red. Just here to get you back to the F. So I'm going D, C, 
on the third string. We've already talked about where those frets are. A and G. Top string, five and three. So just a quick recap. Five, three, five, three. And then back to your Fs. And that completes everything that you're gonna hear in I See Red as played by bass player Nigel Griggs. Good luck learning this song. If you have learned something, click a thumbs up button, give us a like and make this video more discoverable by doing that. Subscribe to our channel, The Eastern Suburb School of Music here on YouTube. Um, and if you've got any questions, comments, please leave them on this video, even a request for a song you'd like to learn and I'll get to replying to those as quickly as I can. Good luck playing I See Red on the bass.